Hello, TK friends. Hello, kindergartners. It's Mr. Cutler here. We're going to do our Mad Scientist Monday today, but I want to introduce my helpers. My name's Penny, and my name's Lucy. And this is Lucy. So we have Penny and Lucy, and they're going to help us with blowing up a balloon. Now, I know you're used to blowing up a balloon with your mouth, but we're going to do it without blowing it up with your mouth. These are the th items that you're going to need in order for this experiment to work. You're going to need some vinegar. It doesn't have to be in the big jar. No, it doesn't have to be in the big one. She's right. You need some baking soda. You need some kind of funnel. You might have a plastic one. I made this one out of paper, so you can use that if you don't have a funnel at home. You're gonna need a plastic bottle. It could be a, uh, maybe a water bottle or a soda bottle or anything like that. The big thing about the bottle is you want it to make sure it's a small opening right here. You don't want it too big, okay? Because if it's too big, it's gonna be really hard to get your balloon on. So you need the balloon. So once again, you have the vinegar, the baking soda, you have your funnel, you have your water bottle, and you have your balloons. All right, girls, are we ready? Yeah. All right, can you take off the caps, please? Thank you. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the vinegar, can you hold on to there? And you're gonna pour just a little bit of vinegar in. You don't have to pour it in all the way, but you wanna put enough vinegar in there. There you go, about that. So. You can see we didn't fill it up too much. We don't want to waste the vinegar. And we'll do this one right here. There we go. There we go. Put a little vinegar in. And yeah, vinegar, you can smell it. You can't smell it on the iPad. It doesn't have smell vision yet. But woo, you can smell, can it. smell it. Do you smell it? Okay. Woo, okay. So the next thing is this. You don't want to add the baking soda into here. We're going to actually put the baking soda inside the balloon. So, you wanna put this right here. You're gonna take your funnel, and you're gonna put, there, you wanna hold that? Right there. You don't wanna pinch it, because you did great, there you go, awesome. And I'm gonna put some baking soda, so we're gonna put a little bit in here, and you wanna put in the balloon, and you're gonna see why in a little bit. And this might be a little messy, so you're gonna to wanna to definitely do this in an area where you can clean up. Oh, no, no, keep it, you gotta keep it on. No, that's okay, no, no, you're fine. That's, this is part of science. This is the fun part, you no problem at all. You all right, I'm gonna put a little bit more in there, okay? Uh -huh. Mr. Cutler, do you think it's maybe a tablespoon, two tablespoons? I think I would put two tablespoons okay. in there um, just to make sure that the reaction works. So probably about two tablespoons, but as you can see in here, you can feel that there's some in there. That's what you want to make sure you can feel. So hold on to that. Don't put it on yet because I'm going to get your sister all squared away. All right. You want to hold this like this? Hold it on. You got it? Okay. Oh, I almost poured that in. That would have not been good. Mr. Cutler, <laughs> what is he doing? So I probably put about two tablespoons in. And like I said, if you have a funnel at home, you totally can do that. Get a little more in. Keep it on. We'll and you have to, might have to shake it a little bit. There. So shake that in there. There we go. Do you feel it? Can you feel the... Okay, now, this is the tricky part. We already put our vinegar in, we put our baking soda in. Now, the thing you're gonna wanna do with this is you're gonna wanna take the bottom part of your balloon, stretch it out, but you wanna keep this part hanging down because you don't want the baking soda to go in while you're putting it on. So, when I put it on, I'm gonna, you might need some parent help with this, and you're gonna put it all around like that. So you see how mine's hanging down? No baking soda went in yet. Okay, and make sure it goes all the way around. There you go. You wanna make sure it gets, uh -oh. that's okay, that's okay, no problem. So you see how I got it all the way down? You don't want it sticking up right here, it'll pop right off, okay? okay. All right, so girls, what I'm gonna have you do on the count of three, you're gonna take this part right here, we'll do it on the side so we can see. And you're gonna, no, I know, it's, and there'll be a reaction, because <laughs> once the baking soda hits the vinegar, you're gonna see what happens. So you're gonna hold it up and shake on the count of three. One, now when I say shake, you're just shaking the balloon. Don't shake. Don't shake the bottom. Don't shake the bottom. Got it. All right, are you ready to Thanks lift for it? Clarifying. One, two, three, lift it and shake it in. There you go. Okay, now give it a minute. Oh my goodness. Oh, that one might have a hole. Looks like so Penny's that one balloon looks like had a, a hole. That one you can get on all the way. There we go. Whoa. Oh, there it goes. And there then it goes. all the baking soda got And in. then you can see the chemical Whoa. reaction that's happening in there. And all the gases are coming up and blowing up the balloon. That is so cool. So as you notice on this one, I didn't get this one all the way down. That's what happened. It came off a little bit. So we've got to make sure that it goes all the way down. And now 
you have it right there. You can put a little more in, but it did, once the reaction happens, it doesn't. And it looks like if your balloon wasn't on quite well enough, you can just pull it on and keep shaking. Yeah, so if you out. notice, it did. this one popped off a little because when I put this on here, this part wasn't on all the way. You yeah. gotta make sure it's on all the way around. There's and that's okay, and the other thing oh, is this. You can do it again. You can retake it out and try it again if it didn't work. Definitely. But did, girls, did, they, did you blow these up yourselves? No. <laughs> So that is for your Mad Scientist Monday. I want to thank my helpers today for showing the class, the classes what to do. Thank you friends and have a good time.